What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nikki, coming to you from urbangirlfabulous.blogspot.com. You already know what it is. It is Talk Tuesday. As you can see, I'm inside my car. I think I actually like recording in my car for Talk Tuesday, so I might just keep doing that because I like to make them brief and quick. All right, so for today's Talk Tuesday, I'm just going to talk about two things that were on my mind. The first one being the BET Awards. I don't know about you all. I didn't get to watch the whole thing because I was cooking dinner and all, but... I loved what I saw. The best performance of the night came from Charlie Wilson. Okay, that man tore it up. For him to be in his 60s and still perform like that, that is a testament to how he hones in on his craft. He is an actual performer who sings, okay? That man can give some of these young people a run for their money. I've actually seen Charlie Wilson perform here in Austin at the... Um, Austin Urban Music Fest, and he did the exact same thing, performed, was dressed up, looked nice, and just gave a great performance. That was like the highlight of the BET Awards. All right, the second um, best performance to me was when they did the reggae collaboration. Oh my God, I'm not Jamaican or any type of island girl, but I swear, when I hear good reggae music, the island girl in me just starts to come out. I was up dancing. I had my son dancing with me. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see one of the videos. I took one of those Instagram videos and posted it on there uh, when me and my youngest son were dancing because my husband, he was not getting involved in any of that nonsense. But it was so fun. That reggae, that was the bomb. Um, some of the good looks for the night. Megan Good. Oh, my God. Girl, you a bad chick. And I know a lot of people are giving her a lot of problems because she's a preacher's wife, but I don't think he's a full-fledged preacher. And even if he is, she's still a woman. She's still a beautiful woman, which I want her to wear a turtleneck. She looks sexy. She looked classy. It was just enough cleavage showing. It wasn't, to me, it wasn't too much. I think she looked absolutely beautiful um, I also liked Lala's dress um, I liked it better honestly from the pictures that she posted on Instagram I think it looked kind of um, bulky but it was still a gorgeous dress and she's absolutely beautiful um, what else oh Sierra that girl can dance can't the, ain't nobody messing with Sierra when it comes to dancing that girl will shut it down with those dance moves I'm like okay CC I see you you doing your thing so yeah the BT Awards I think they stepped it up a notch um hosting yeah from what I saw I only saw Chris Tucker a few times and yeah he, he was okay I guess he was okay Kevin Hart a mess. I, I'm, you know what? For me, turned up. We don't need to say that anymore. He killed it officially that night, Sunday night. He killed turn up. Let's not say turned up anymore because it's dead right now. I'm so tired of hearing it. No more. No more turned up. Okay, so for yeah, I, I really enjoy the BT Awards. Tell me what you thought about the BT Awards, um, and how did you think they went this year? All right, so the next thing that I want to talk about is going to be this whole natural hair thing. You see, I am rocking a really cute twist out curly fro, and I am loving it. It looks hot today, and I did my little makeup. I was in a makeup kind of mood. But what I want to get into is the struggles of having natural hair. That's why there are some days when I just want to cut this shit off. I love my natural hair. Don't get me wrong. This is the healthiest my hair has been being in its natural stage. And um, FYI, I've been natural for going on 20 years now, on and off for about 20 years. So I've been rocking a natural before this whole natural movement came along. I had low cuts. I had locks. I've had short hair like this. So natural is nothing new to me. But sometimes, you know, I just want to cut this mess off. It gets on my nerves. I have to retwist my hair every night. I have to detangle it before I wash it because if I don't detangle it before I wash it, it's a damn mess. Shrinkage. Let's talk about shrinkage. Oh my God. Shrinkage is real, y'all shrinkage is real and I just, I just want y'all to know that it's really real 
posted another picture on Instagram. My hair was that short with shrinkage. That long when I stretched it out. But you know what? Length is not a big issue to me. So that doesn't, shrinkage is not really bothering me, but shrinkage is real. Okay, shrinkage is okay on hair. Shrinkage ain't good elsewhere. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's natural hair is it's a work you know a lot of people they I get a lot of compliments on my hair and it's just a lot of freaking work man I'm just telling you I just I would go to the barbershop today and cut it all off and I wouldn't think twice about it but I told myself I was gonna be patient and I was going to rock this out for as long as I possibly could before I cut it all off what I am gonna do though to switch it up a little bit I am going to color my hair and I'm really thinking that I want to color it red in the red family I'm always um, I used to always color my hair brown it'd be like a, a dark to light medium brown but I think I want to venture off and do something else in, in, outside of doing the normal browns blonde yeah that's out the question I don't want to get too colorful if I could rock blue hair I would definitely rock some blue or purple hair but I work in a I work in an environment that that would actually be okay but yeah I'm not doing all of that so tell me what are some of your uh, natural hair issues ladies what are you doing for the summertime you know cuz here in Texas it's hot as hell it's been really mild though I'm not gonna lie and I'm not gonna complain much because it's normally hot as hell but we're in July now and we just recently start getting into the hundreds so that's really good but what are your um, options that you're going to be doing with your hair for the summertime how are you keeping moisturized how are you keeping it styled uh, what are you doing to switch up your look I actually rocked a faux hawk uh, yesterday and Sunday and I loved it I think I'm gonna do that again maybe I'll rock that tomorrow or uh, for the 4th of July, which is actually Thursday. Uh, well, that's really much it. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the BET Awards and this whole rock in my natural hair. I, and like I said, I am loving this natural hair afro that I have today. Let me give you some still shots. Love my earrings. These earrings, by the way, I get a lot of uh, comments or compliments about my earrings. Um, it's this lady named Kendra Scott. If you read my blogs and if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you know that I talk about Kendra Scott all the time. And look out tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday and she is having her girls night out. And she's always given some kind of discount or some type of free jewelry on those days. So make sure you check out her website, KendraScottJewelry.com. That was a little plug for her because I actually I love, love, love the jewelry from there. And um, that's about it. You guys know where to follow me. Follow me on Facebook at Urban Girl Fabulous. Follow me on Instagram, same name, Urban Girl Fabulous. And follow me on Twitter at Urban Girl Fab. All right, guys, y'all have a great, happy 4th of July. Drink, barbecue, but be safe. And do it in moderation. If you're going to drink a lot, make sure you have somebody out there that's going to drive for you. Or sleep at your friend's house. Or whoever's having the barbecue, pass out at their house. Just be safe. Have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all stay fabulous until next time. Alright, bye-bye.